Samsung have achieved one of its biggest goals with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. You guys will be surprised to see how well Galaxy S23 Ultra performs against its predecessor, and even this could be Samsung's first phone to perform this better in recent years. All things aside, this is one of the biggest reasons why S23 Ultra performed this much better this year which is Snapdragon Agent 2, and no Exynos processor which is why Samsung hit a record sales for the S20 series. Alone in South Korea, Samsung achieved a sales figure of over 1 million units for the Galaxy S20 series, which is massive and in global chart, S20 Ultra also performed really well, where European markets saw 1.5 times more sales, Latin America saw 1.7 times, Middle East and India saw 1.5 and 1.4 times. So overall, a great success for Samsung, even TMRU already predicted that they are going to see the double sales digits with the Galaxy S23 series. Here, the S23 series accounts for 60% of the sales and 20% for the S23 and S23 Plus. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra biggest success is its battery, matching the performance of iPhone 14 Pro Max. Just for a short couple of minutes, but getting a 45 watt fast charger on S23 Ultra makes it even better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max which takes a lot more time to get fully charged. Samsung is so consistent with the updates of the S20 Ultra. First, we get the Fab update in March and now early April update is here. If you haven't updated, go and check your settings because the April update on S20 Ultra is more towards camera fixes. If you're facing any issue with the shutter speed, out of focus or even image deposition, you have to go with this update. It's out in European market and even Indian market gets this update on S20 Ultra. If you're still struggling to fix the shutter lag on S20 Ultra after this update, you can use the camera system snap to reduce the shutter lag on S20 Ultra. Just after the launch of Galaxy S20 Ultra, we started getting some confirmed news regarding the S24 Ultra. Yes, S24 Ultra were going to come with big updates, but getting one big disappointment you might get on the S24 Ultra, which is the Exynos 2400. Samsung started working on Exynos 2400 and the mass production will get started in November. Chances are there we might see Exynos 2400 on S24 Ultra. Samsung is gearing up for the next big launch which is in August. So if you guys want to see the Galaxy S20 Ultra Apple update features, you can check this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next until then. Peace out.